guys, Milk Tanker Media here, and I just wanted to make this uh, quick little video about some uh, new Thomas Wooden Railway items I got recently, and so let's get started. So the first one I got recently got was Stafford. Stafford is a relatively new character in the Thomas Wooden Railway series. He, um, I believe, he is in an electric, an electrical battery powered engine. So that's really interesting because um, the exception of Boko, who is like actually like a diesel electric something or other, none of the other engines in the Thomas Wooden Railway line are electric. So that's very interesting. Now if we look at Stafford here, he's got a very weirdly shaped face. I, I don't really know what to call that. It's almost like a trapezoid with like rounded edges. That's very interesting. And then he's really shaped oddly as well. He's almost shaped like a caboose. And on the top he's mostly black. And he is this kind of unique color. It's like a burnt orange almost. And of course it says Stafford. And it also says number 1917. And on the bottom it just says Stafford of course. Um, no printing on the back. Something I will note is that all of the edges and corners are very round. They're, they're rounded off really, really well. And that's something we don't really see with uh, uh, the older models. They have much more uh, straight edges and corners and things like that. So another thing I want to point out is the wheels. So if you look carefully, there's actually this little hole in the wheel. It's not really a hole, but it's like an indentation with this... Um, here. Oops. There's this little indentation thing here with this, uh, I don't know what you call that, this little thing sticking out of it. And that's something, I, that's something I haven't really noticed on the older models, so I don't really know what the significance of that is. Um, I don't know if the old wheels were actually made of wood or plastic. I can't really tell, so if someone could tell me, that, that'd be great. <laughs> so anyways, that's Stafford. And then, the next model I got was Luke. And, first thing I know, want to notice is his face. He has a very, like, odd face. It's not, like, oddly shaped like Stafford is, but it's just round. But, I did see Blue Mountain Mystery, and, well, I guess the face is sort of similar, but it's also... This, this just looks really weird on a wooden railway model. And that, also, the weirdness is kind of added to, because Luke himself is not really shaped like he is in Blue Mountain Mystery. Uh, for one thing, his funnel is really, really short as compared to his appearance in the movie. So, I also want to note that uh, there is a lot of printing on Luke. If, they, if he had been made a long time ago, there probably wouldn't be all of this uh, random stuff on him. And then he also has this, uh, there's a plastic dome here. And there's also this plastic thing kind of towards his cab that uh, I guess is part of his boiler. So apparently he's number 22. So again, there's no printing or anything on the back. Which is interesting because they paid so much attention to, pay, to making details on his sides. Um, then on the bottom, of course, it says Luke. Some random other stuff. And I believe Luke also has that strange indentation thing. Uh, yeah, right there, you can kind of see it. There it is. So yeah, that's Luke. So, the next item I got is these two troublesome trucks. Uh, I really don't know what their official name is. On, on websites, they're often called the Sodor Sweet Special, but on their package it was labeled something different. Like Sodor Candy Cars or something. Anyways, they obviously are carrying candy, so we'll start with this one. So, this one is, it has a CGI looking face, first of all. And then it says, sort of sweet shop. Again, you can notice the rounded edges. Here, let me just pull out the old gray troublesome truck for comparison. If you look at it, now you can definitely tell how, like, rigid these edges are and... 
how rounded these are. So we'll put put that guy back. So there's a bunch of gumballs in this car because it's a gumball car, obviously. So that's sort of a sweet shop. So these do roll around. The the little plastic thing they're in actually does not come out, which is interesting. And again, symmetrical. Nothing in the back. Gumball car. And this also has the strange indentation on the wheels. So then the next one... Oh, I do want to also point out that there's been a lot of comments lately about um, how, Thomas Warden Rail, how the Thomas Wooden Railway line is using more and more plastic. And yes, while this thing holding gumballs is plastic, I think this is actually pl primarily wood. But then, in comparison, we do have this. This uh, chocolate car, again, says Mr. Jolly's Chocolate. What a surprise. Actually, Mr. Jolly looks really weird in that picture. I don't know why. But anyways, he has a similar CAGI face. But then, uh, while this part of him is actually wood, his front and the back are plastic. And then, of course, the cargo is plastic. It's removable and a triangular prism like all of the other, like, powders and... Things like that, like the rocks and the coal that come in uh, freight cars like this with the triangular indent. Now, if you notice, if you put them on the side, the cargo does not actually fit in all the way. So that's that's really that's really peculiar. Because on other things, like here, here's a solar scrap car. Well, you slid it in here. It fits in quite nicely all the way. Now, I don't know if they did that to... Uh, make it easier to get out, or what they did. I guess now you, you can just, like, take it out without having to dump the car over. Uh, but still, that's that's really strange. So. Anyways. Uh, probably this car has the, uh, indentation thing on the wheel. Yep, there it is. So anyways. I thought this was actually a very nice looking uh, two-pack that Learning Curve, or, sorry, Mattel, I think, has made. Uh, it's probably one of their better 2013 items, I think, although I really don't have any besides these guys and Stafford and Luke, who are also very nice. Um, so, I, actually, I think 2013 overall is going to be uh, a good year for individual models. The sets I've looked ahead on uh, sites that show that 2013 items, and I don't think the sets are that impressive this year. They're not that interesting. But, anyways, I do I do like this. They they were going to make a nice addition to uh, troublesome to the troublesome trucks I have. So yeah, that's them. And then the last item I got, I saw in stores. This was very surprising. This is Flora, and I honestly didn't think Flora was being sold anymore. And I don't know if she was out there by mistake or if the store I went to just had some extra floras and like wanted to get rid of them or what. But the flora is actually a pretty old model now, a couple of years at least. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at her. Um, you know, I noticed that her face seems to look slightly different than other floras I've seen. That, that might just be me imagining things, but I don't know. Anyways, it's this floor on the side, so it's tramways. These things stick down to the top. She actually has a plastic roof, unlike uh, Toby. Or this old Toby, at least, has a wooden roof. So, again, they both have a plastic cow catcher. Flora has these, uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be buffers or what those are on her. Right there and right there. Well, that's kind of that's interesting. And then four on the bottom. There, there are also these uh, extra plastic bits here. I guess, I don't know what they're really doing there. Just holding the cow catcher side plates to the wheelbase or what? You know, I just noticed recently that the uh, any engine with side plates, so Flora and Toby and Mavis, have different wheels than the other models. Uh, if you look at them from, like, the side, or the bottom, they're actually much flatter than, here's Stafford's wheels. These are kind of the standard wheels. 
and then these are much different. So you can see there's not actually a rim around the side of the around the spokes like there is on these wheels and there's not the extra thing sticking out of the side. So that's Flora. And then also here's Flora's tram car. Um really looks more like a bus. Um I don't really know what they were thinking bring bring something like this into the show. I mean it's really out of place. I mean, like with all the regular coaches on Soda and then Flora comes along pulling this thing. I mean I mean it's not like bad looking, it's just weird. It's like there's a golden curving staircase on the back and double decker and all sorts of stuff. So he even has this rounded up thing at the bottom and the front too. And then Flora's tram, which is interesting because Flora herself is a tram. I think it would probably make more sense if they called it like Flora's coach. And then it's also different colors on the bottom, so I don't really know why they did that. And these have the regular wheels. And I believe Flora does not have the strange indentation. Oh wait. Wait. Oh. Nope, that's not that's not anything. I don't think. I don't think she has the indentations. Nope. So anyways, that's Flora. So I've also noticed some people say that with the uh, with the increasing use of plastic in the Thomas Wooden Railway line, the plastic is actually making the models lighter. And I actually noticed, I, I disagree a lot actually. So I'm actually gonna do this uh, quick comparison. I have a scale here. Let's turn it on. So I'm going to be comparing some of these models with older, primarily wooden models and seeing how they uh, stack up against each other in terms of weight. So first, I'm going to be, here's Bill. Bill, of course, is primarily wooden. He's a much older model. And then here's Luke with that weird plastic boiler piece. So I'm going to put uh, Bill on the scale first. So the reading on this says 52 grams. So Bill is 52 grams. Now we take Luke, we put Luke on here. Luke is 58 grams. So that's that's not a lot of weight. That's not a huge difference, but it's still a difference. And Luke is clearly heavier. And even if I just pick him up by hand, Luke is heavier. Okay. So next I'm going to compare uh, the chocolate car, here with the cargo, and I'm going to uh, compare it to Scruffy, who is also primarily wooden. You can see they're roughly the same size. Actually, one thing I want to point out here, if you look at them, this car is actually like ridiculously tall compared to uh, Scruffy. And Scruffy himself is a large freight car, so th this means that this guy is absolutely ginormous. So anyways, scale. So I'm gonna weigh Scruffy. So Scruffy is 60 grams. And then I'm gonna weigh this guy. He's 62 grams. And that's funny, because I weighed them earlier and I thought they had more of a difference. Hmm. I don't know, that's weird. Yeah, let's try the other one. Oh, oh wow. Wow. How did, how, did, how did that happen? That's 70 grams. I don't know, it's 68. But that doesn't make any sense. Well, now this is 64, so I don't know what's going on. 62 again. So apparently the blue one is heavier than the green one. You know, that might actually be because there's more plastic in this one. So, so far it's looking like that the plastic is actually making the models heavier. And then, one last comparison, I'm gonna compare Toby's weight to Flora's. The only difference here is really that they have, uh, Flora has a plastic roof and Toby has a wooden roof. So Toby is 70 grams, and Flora is 72 grams. 
So again, that's not a lot of, that's not a big weight difference, but with all, with all of these results, it's pretty much clearly showing that the plastic is making the models heavier, which I find kind of surprising almost. I kind of thought that the plastic would be lighter too, but I guess it does kind of make sense. I mean, I mean, wood really isn't that heavy if you, I guess it depends on what kind of wood you use, but whatever wood is in these models is obviously lighter than the plastic. So, I don't know, you know, um, yeah, never mind. So yeah, that, that's going to be it for this discussion thing. I guess you can call it a discussion. On my new Thomas Wooden Railway items. Luke, Stafford, the Soda Sweet Special, and Flora. And Flora's Tram. So, uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. Thank you.